guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the new iPod Touch second generation. Um, I have it here. Uh, it, this is the tethered way for the Mac. Um, some of you may have viewed my other video about the uh, Red Snow uh, jailbreak and uh, I'm going against that because um, one of my friends, uh, he gave me his iPod, obviously this is his. And um, so I'm going to show you today how to jailbreak it. This is actually my first time of doing it, so uh, bear with me if I go wrong sometimes. Uh, I doubt I will, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I'll be doing it along with you for the first time. So um, let's go ahead and uh, switch over to my screen. Obviously, before we start, we're going to need to download a few things. So. If you go over to the description on the right and uh, click the link, then you should download this package called Red RS Lite. If you uh, double click that, if you place it on your desktop, um, you're going to need to download something called LibUSB. Uh, just double click this package, it should be in the top left. And just go through all these steps. I've already done it, but that's what you need to do. Just click continue and follow through then. Uh, the reason why this file is so big is because it has this 221 porn file, uh, not file, sorry, the, an iPod software file uh, that you're going to restore with later in the processes. So um, if you uh, follow this README, um, thanks to very nice iPod from iPod Touch fans for doing this, um, I do do most of these commands, but. Um, I skip out quite a few of them around this area, so uh, you might want to uh, print these or something, follow them as I go through them, um, if you're doing this along with me. So um, I think we're ready to get started now, so uh, I'm just going to switch back to me to show you how to get into DFU mode. So in order to get your iPod into DFU mode, um, you need to plug it into your computer. Um, but before I do that, I am going to talk to you about if you have Mac version 10.5.6. Now, um, what that version of Mac does is it doesn't allow you to put your iPod into DFU mode. So what you need to do is um, go over, I'll put a link in the des description again. Um, so uh, what you're going to need to do is... Um, follow a few instructions you can follow the link from the dev team or um, just do a simple Google search so uh, let's go ahead I'm on 10.5.5 by the way um, if anybody's wondering so let's go ahead and plug the iPod in there we go now um, iTunes possibly could pop up in a minute nope right so um, what we're going to do is, in order to put in DFU mode, oh there we go, iTunes popped up just as I said, right so, uh, cancel, right. So we're going to go, and the power in the home for 10 seconds, and then release the power, so let's go ahead and do that. Power in the home, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight, nine, ten. Release the power and keep it on the home. Until iTunes uh, recognize it. There we go. So we'll release the uh, home now. Okay, so once you have your iPod in DFU mode, you're going to go and search for a program called Terminal. Um, so we're going to click Terminal and it should load. So first command we're going to enter is CD space squiggly line. If you don't know where that is, it's beside the Z. You have to click Shift. Then we go forward slash capital D for desktop forward slash RS light. Enter. Then that what that does is change the directory so it's looking at that file. Now what we're going to do is go dot forward slash RS light. Enter. Now, um, if you haven't put it in DFU mode correctly, then it'll tell you so here. So um, next, we're going to go exclamation mark I capital B S S two one one dot DFU enter. 
executing. Okay. iTunes is going to pop up. We're going to click OK and then close it down. Then going back into terminal and then we're going to do dot forward slash rs light and again enter. Then we're going to go hash pwn to 11 ibss. IBSS is in lowercase this time. Dot txt. Then we go enter. Then we're going to go exclamation mark IBSS 221pwn.dfu. Executing. There we go. And then iTunes is going to load again. This time we're going to keep it open. We're going to go OK. We're going to go Alt Restore. And then we're going to go find the RS Lite folder and tap the 221pwn.ipsw. Then click OK. Um, it's not going to extract this software, so um, I'll come back to you when this is done. Okay, so once iTunes has restored your iPod with the custom firmware, um, what's going to happen is your iPod screen is going to go black, and um, in iTunes it's not going to recognize it. So um, what you're going to do is going to put it in DFU mode again. I've already showed you how to do that. <clears throat> and uh, it's going to come up with this message, so we're going to click OK to that. And just exit out of iTunes. Now we're going to go over to Terminal again. And we're going to start the commands again. So start forward slash rs light. Enter. Then we're going to go exclamation mark i capital B S S two one one dot D F U. Enter. Executing. Then we're going to go all iTunes open, so we're going to go close out of that. Back over to terminal. Dot forward slash rs light. Enter. Then we're going to go hash pwn 211ibss, lowercase that is, dot txt, enter. Then we're going to go exclamation mark i capital bss 221pwn dot d, oh, dfu, enter, <coughs> executing. Then we've got a few more. All oh, iTunes. We're going to go close that out, and then we're going to go dot forward slash rs light enter. And then the final one, which is exclamation mark i capital b o o t two two one p w n dot i m g three enter. Executing. and then your iPod should now have the Apple logo and um, I'll come back to you with me on the screen okay so um, the iPod has now done rebooting and if I slide to unlock we have Cydia and um, that is basically the uh, second generation tethered jailbreak and um, iTunes is now popping up saying about the um, set up your iPod. I'd recommend you set it up as a new iPod. So um hoped you like this video. Please subscribe and uh, tell me what you think. Thanks. Bye.